Good morning, class. You are welcome to English language lesson. So today we continue from where we stopped in our last class. In the last class we had, we started the topic phrases, and then I told you that a phrase is a group of words that can be taken as a single unit in a sentence, and we did noun phrase and verb phrase in the la last class. So then I told you that a noun phrase is a group of words that can be taken as a single unit in a sentence, which has the noun as its head word or the keyword. So a noun phrase is a group of words that has the noun as the head word or keyword in a sentence and can be taken as a single unit in a sentence. Also, the verb phrase also can function just like a verb. A verb is an action word or a doing word. I want to believe that you still remember that. So the verb phrase also can be taken as a single unit in a sentence and it has the verb as its keyword or the head word. So examples of a noun phrase like the beautiful girl, the tall tree, my mother, those are examples of noun phrases. And verb phrases also, we have the helping verb and the main verb. For example, in the sentence, I will be traveling next week. Will be traveling is a verb phrase. She's coming to visit me. Is coming to visit is the noun, is the verb phrase in that sentence. She's coming to visit me. Is coming to visit. That's it, that is the verb phrase in the sentence. So this morning, we'll be looking at adverb or adverbial phrase prepositional phrase and also the adjectival phrase those are the types of our phrases that we'll be looking at today so what is an adverb phrase or an adverb adverbial phrase an adverb or adverbial phrase is a word that is the word or group of words that has an adverb as its keyword or main word let me take that again an adverb phrase or adverbial phrase is a word or group of related words that has an adverb as its keyword or main word. It performs the same function of an adverb. An adverb is a word that qualifies or modifies a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. So let me give you some examples here. I saw him very recently. I saw him very recently. Very recently is the adverb is the adverbial phrase in that sentence. Very recently is the adverbial phrase in that sentence talking about when I saw him. That is adverb of time. S number two, Olu moved very quickly. Olu moved very quickly. Very quickly is an ad is an adverbial phrase in that sentence. Very quickly is talking or modifying how Olu moves. The third example, she welcomed her friends very warmly. She welcomed her friends very warmly. Very warmly is the adverbial phrase in, the, phrase in that sentence. That is how she welcomed her friends. And also, the soldiers fought quite bravely. The soldiers fought quite bravely. That's quite bravely is the adverbial phrase. Giving more information on how the soldier fought quite bravely. So that is a adverb phrase or the adverbial phrase for you. Just like the normal adverb, it qualifies a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. That is what adverbial phrase also does in a sentence. The second type that we'll be looking at is the prepositional phrase. A prepositional phrase is a word or group of related words whose main or keyword is a preposition. Let me take that again. A prepositional phrase is a word or group of related words whose main or keyword is a preposition. So like prepositions, a prepositional phrase shows the relationship of a noun or pronoun to some other words in a sentence. That is what preposition does in a sentence. It shows the relationship of a noun or pronoun to some other words in a sentence and examples of prepositions are under beneath behind over up down between and the likes so now let me give you some examples of a prepositional phrase number one the cat is sleeping under the table the cat is sleeping under 
the table under the table is the prepositional phrase it is introduced by the word under which is a preposition and also we have the object of a preposition which is a noun the table is the object of that preposition under the table is the prepositional phrase number two i found the key behind the door i found the key behind the door behind the door is the prepositional phrase and the objects of that prepositional prep, the object of the preposition is uh, the door which is a noun or it, which is a noun phrase rather the next one the man ran across the streets the man ran across the streets across the streets is the prepositional phrase in that sentence being introduced by a preposition across and the last example i will be giving here is i found the money under the chair i found the money under the chair so under the chair is the prepositional phrase in that sentence and the object of the preposition there is a uh, the chair under is the preposition so from the examples of giving number one under the table is the prepositional phrase in the sentence the cat is sleeping under the table i found the key behind the door behind the door is the prepositional phrase number three the man ran across the streets across the streets is the prepositional phrase and the last one i found the money under the chair under the chair is the prepositional phrase in that sentence so the last type that we'll be looking at is the adjective or adjectival phrase adjective or adjectival phrase so an adjectival phrase is a word or group of related words whose main or keyword is an adjective an adjectival phrase is a word or group of related words whose main or keyword is an adjective like adjectives it qualifies a noun a noun phrase or a pronoun so that's what an adjective is an adjective is a word that qualifies or modifies a noun or a pronoun it gives additional information about a noun or a pronoun so that is the same thing an adjectival phrase also does it gives additional information about a noun a noun phrase or a pronoun in a sentence so examples the first one the woman is extremely beautiful the woman is extremely beautiful extremely beautiful is the adjectival phrase in that sentence qualifying or giving additional information about the woman number two the food is very delicious the food is very delicious very delicious is the adjectival phrase in that sentence qualifying the food the next one number three an unusually brave soldier was given an award an unusually brave soldier was given an award so the adjectival phrase is an unusually brave qualifying the soldier or giving actual information about the soldier and the last example the extremely handsome boy is my son the extremely handsome boy is my son the proportional phrase in that sentence is the extremely handsome the extremely handsome qualifying the boy who is my son so that is that about the adjective phrase but before uh, i give you classwork let me quickly run through what i've uh, said earlier so we've talked about the adverbial phrase which functions as an adverb in a sentence by modifying a verb an adjective or another adverb so the examples i gave you earlier we have very recently very quickly very warmly and quite bravely also we spoke about the prepositional phrase which functions as a preposition in a sentence by showing the relationship between a noun or a pronoun to some other words in a sentence under the table behind the door across the streets and under the chair uh the prepositional phrases that we got from some sentences given earlier and the third one which i just explained not quite long is the adjective phrase that functions just like a normal adverb adjective 
by qualifying a noun, a noun phrase, or a pronoun in a sentence. So we have extremely beautiful, very delicious, and unusually brave, and also the extremely handsome from the sentences I gave you earlier. So don't forget that a phrase is a group of related words that can be taken as a single unit in a sentence. So a phrase is not a sentence and it is also below a clause because it has no verb in it. So a phrase is not meaningful on its own. For instance, if I just say extremely beautiful, you don't it has no complete meaning because it is not talking, it is not giving additional information about something. Extremely beautiful, the tall man, very recently, and the likes. So those are phrases. Those are phrases because they are not expressing a complete thought. We still need some other, we still need the predicates to complete the uh, noun phrase before it can become a sentence or a clause. So your classwork, for your classwork, you are to write five sentences write five sentences that have adverbial phrases in them write five sentences that have ad adverbial phrases in them and underline the adver adverbial phrase for your assignments you are to write five you have to write five sentences write five sentences that have prepositional phrase and identify the prepositional phrases in the sentences given so just uh the way you submitted the last one you did the last one the last last lesson we had the way you submitted your assignment that is how you're going to submit this as well and your classwork as well just after the completion of your assignments and classwork snap and forward to my to my whatsapp number forward to me directly on whatsapp all right thank you